So I want to talk about the credit card charges that yes, you Honor. claim that she made. You moved in on about May 13th. Yes, And Honor. you discovered your credit card missing, you said, on May 19th. Yes, Your Honor. So on May 14th is a charge to Petco. Yes, Your Honor. Did you make that charge? Um, I'm not sure. I don't, I don't recall that, but okay. most like, oh, yes, yes, I'm sorry, yes, because I bought her dog, my dog, some treats, and I purchased light bulbs for Hannibal in my scorpion's cage. Okay, got it. So, so I'm the, sorry, I'm sorry, I did. Then there's a charge for $34 for, for a storage, storage unit. Yes, right? Your Honor. And that charge was you as well? Yes, Your Honor. Then there's a charge for Shell Oil for $73.77. That is not mine. And I didn't use my credit card to put gas in the, the Penske either. I used my checking account, my debit card. Okay. Then there are two charges to the corner store in Denver. And do you know what the charges to the corner store are for? I do not, Your Honor. Okay. Then there's a charge for $29 for a ZG rent application. Okay, that would be yours that too. That would be right? mine, yes, okay. Your Honor. All right. So if you know that the rent application was yours, and you know that the storage unit was yours, and you know that the Petco was yours, why did you ask your credit card to reverse those charges? They should not have made, they should not have reversed all of the charges. It but I'm not asking be... you what they should have done, I'm asking you what they did. There were $319 of purchases, and $286 of them were reversed. So you didn't have to pay those until July. True, I don't, I, don't, I okay. guess. <laughs> so the credit, you resolved the issue by disputing charges with the credit card company, including charges that you had made. And then they put those charges back on about a month and a half later. Why did they put them back on? Because the police would not give me a police report because it's a civil matter. So because I didn't get a police report, the credit card company needed a police report for those, but the Denver police didn't take a police report. So because I couldn't do that, I they made me pay the charges back. Or okay, excuse want, me, they put the charges back. I want to move on to the next component of your claim, which is $280 for a damaged cell phone. Yeah, Honor, yes. I want to take a look now at the incident in which you claim your cell phone was damaged. Yeah, sure. Right, and I understand we have video of that. Let's go ahead and watch the video. Yeah, okay. I know. Thank you. Also, I'm not apologizing to you for a <laughs> I will see you in court. You have no idea who you're with. <laughs> And who was it that wrecked your phone? Her son was the one in the blue. He came around yeah. and snatched my phone. And when he took off with it, he was trying to delete the video. But I automatically have my stuff yeah. backed up. What do you say happened? Okay, so my son did indeed snatch her phone out of her hand because he got mad at all the stuff she was saying. But I did make him, because he only ran like literally halfway up the parking lot. And I said, give her her phone. And it wasn't broke. <laughs> 